Shalom. All praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Grimmel Stone. And peace and salutations unto the elect. This is Grimmel Stone 5 Precepts. Shout and spicy and it to the point. And I'm your brother, Mark Collard, from the Grimmel Stone Jamaica camp with another quick lesson here to feed the potential elect. Now, this is um, in transit, you know, in prompt to moving in the spirit. And I want to call this lesson, it's a very short lesson, something like, you know, remember to put your share, you know, in front of your day, something to that effect. See, because uh, right now we're living in a time where, you know, our decision making and everything that we do, we should, you know, ask ourselves, would your share do this? You know, would our Lord do that? You know, uh, we're supposed to pray unto your share, your Bashim, your share, in its correct order, you know, and let your share. You know, lead the way because without the Lord, you have a shy. Oh, go on, sin, respect. Yo, without, without the last lack, yeah, without the Lord, you have a shy. There ain't nothing we can achieve, you know, um, that's righteous, man. See, so anything else that you're gonna achieve, you know, it has to be in unrighteousness. So, because that's that's the way of this world, you know, this, this world is full are filled with, um, and righteous deeds so you know you have to counter that in the spirit with with, with our with our righteousness yeah and definitely um, um our righteousness is our righteousness is Yahweh Shai you know it's not of ourselves our righteousness is Yahweh Shai he is the one that basically went up on the cross to redeem us you know to buy us back to our power which is which is Yahweh the father of spirits you know our father you know um, Yahweh was the one that did that. So I want to read, uh, bear with me, I'm driving. I want to read uh, Philippians 4, verse 13. And this is a, is a scripture that, you know, these Christians love to read. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to read it to start up this, this lesson. Uh, it says, I can do all things through Yahweh Shai, a Mashiach, you know, which strengthened me. And, and literally, you know, you're going through your, 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 your everyday life. Like, you know, in every way, carnal things and, and um, spiritual things also. You know, you have to pray unto Yahweh Shai. And when I say carnal things, I do, not necessarily, I'm not, I'm not speaking about evil things. You know, but you know, you're going to your job, you know, you pray to Yahweh Shai to, 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 you know, to relieve you of, of whatever pressure you're under on your job, whether it be by the, the workload, the stress that it comes with. You know your, your boss, whatever. You know you you know you, you pray to Yahweh Shai for help to actually buy you some some time. You know <laughs> so that you can keep focus on the on the ministry, man. Scripture says I can do all things through Yahweh Shai who strengthen me, and that like like literally, man. See, so consult Yahweh Shai at the forefront of thy decision. You know. All, all, the, the, all the decision makings that you're gonna be doing, remember to put the Lord Yahweh Shai at the forefront. You know, remember why? Let's go to the book of Saint John. Let's go to the book of Saint John 15. Yeah, starting at verse three. Right, ah, uh, verse four. No, this is the Lord speaking. As you can see, it's written in red. It says, abide in me and I in you, right? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it says, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot be a fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. And, and, and Yahweh Shai, he's the one that, that, that lets us bear fruit, you know. Fruit as in, you know, more knowledge, you know, the, the kingdom also fruit as in <coughs> fruit as in yeah even even your everyday life you know you go to your job you work you get pay yeah how is the one that basically um ensures that you know your, your daily bread is being given to you you know and I'm, I'm i'm i don't want to sway this um too much to the carnal side really but we're living in flesh don't it right we're living in flesh so therefore you know uh, 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 shoot a quick lesson act 
you know, there for um here yeah, there with the brother Shaparno when um so basically it's like you know your everyday life you have to consult a lot. Same way. Says abide in me and I in you. Right? Let me read it again. St. John 15 verse 3 says, verse 4 says, Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot be a fruit of itself. See, I uh, can't say anything you want. Uh, when you listen to see me. Yeah. See, shall, uh, can I give him a piece? Oh, uh, um, why listen about that? Um, thing there. Basically, I do a lesson. Morning. I do a lesson upon, um, um, basically, you have to put your wash eye uh, in your everyday life, guys. Yeah. Yeah, basically, you can't do nothing mm -hmm. without, yeah, without yeah. your wash eye. Yeah. Um, Shalom, Abashim, Ashai Abashim, Akwa Kodash, Barakat Thumb, you know, to all who basically tuning into the video. Yeah, and as the act, as the act rightfully say, look, man, of your own strength, you can't do anything at all. You know what I mean? The Lord is who directs your steps. You know what I mean? That's why um, the scripture tells you in Proverbs, say, hey, um, commit thy works. You want me to get that? Yeah, okay. Yes, Proverbs 16. And, yeah. Hey, because even salvation, you know, a lot of people think that salvation is is something that you work for and get. Okay. You know what I mean? But um, you are directed into your salvation, man. Exactly. You, you, you don't do anything to uh, um, achieve that. You know, it's, uh, it's purely the mercy of the Lord. You know, um, you read it. All right. Would you want me to start at the top? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, Proverbs 16 and 1 it says, The preparation of the heart in man right. and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Right, so whatsoever you do, whatsoever comes in your mind, you know what I mean, and whatsoever you speak is from the Lord. You know? Right. So, go on. It says, All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. Uh, but, yeah. Right. He yeah. says, But the Lord weighs the spirits. Yeah, the Lord is the one who weighs the spirits. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Um, a lot of times we will say, oh look, we, we, have, we have one little thing we are dealing with and of our own strength we are saying, oh look, yeah. you know, I forget that something I like sort that, out. Yeah, you, know, you, you, all of the, you put all this pressure upon yourself and try to sort it out, yeah. but all you need for do is pray, pray to the Lord, pray to the Lord and you know, make the Lord deal with it. You know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. Because the more you fight and try to do it by yourself, the Lord will show you so you cannot do it. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And you need the help. You know what I mean? So you first have to acknowledge that look man, the Lord is the one who who help you man. He's he's your help man. You, can, exactly. you know what I mean? And not of yourself. Self, definitely. You know? Yeah. Alright, it says verse three says, Commit thy works unto the Lord right. and thy thoughts shall be established. Right, exactly. And that's the point we're basically getting into. Mm -hmm. You know? Alright. Another scripture. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Alright, this is um one second. Lamentation. Yeah. One second. Um, okay, so in the book of Lamentation. Hold on, hold on, one second. Lamentation chapter. Alright, Lamentation chapter 3, verse 37 says, Who is he that say it? Right. And it come to pass when the Lord commanded it not. Right. Yeah. So, so who is this who that say it? The Lord commanded it, commanded it not. That's yeah. Yeah, can. You know, that will sure say a lot, man. You know what I mean? What is whatsoever been said, you know, whatsoever get done, mm -hmm. is by the Lord. Even this, the, the, the so called white man, mm -hmm. Everything. Edomite, what he's doing is of the Lord, man. You know what I mean? Um, he's directed in a specific part. To play out a specific result, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So your part that you take basically is to play out a specific result, man. You know what I mean. So right now, um, you're giving the spirit whether you want to, you know, believe and trust in your our shy. You know what I mean. Or you believe and trust in the system that the so-called white man set up. You know, and, and choosing him as your god because Can. at the end of the day, you is a follower. You know. Of one thing or the other, you know what I mean? A man may say him don't believe um, in a no form of God, mm -hmm. but in, a, in, a, in, a, in a the same instance where I say that, seeing mm -hmm. the spirit, why I say that basically is to show that you believe in a God, but not the most mm -hmm. high. Because who in this current system and, and this current order will basically not following after the ways of the system. 
and the ways of the system is not independent thought Come. come on up you know what I mean it based off of um, whatsoever the rulers that be in mindset is you know and at you know, a deeper level mm -hmm. the mindset the mindset that the rulers that um, the powers that be have in this society is from the Lord when you look on the book of Daniel they tell, mm -hmm. you, they tell you you know about the king's art, man. Exactly, it's, yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's in the hand of the Lord, man. Yeah. Right. Mm. Well, going to the scripture. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> James five verse twelve says, but, but above all things, my brethren, swear not neither by heaven, right. neither by the earth, neither right. by any other oath, but let your yea be yea and your nay be nay, right. lest ye fall into condemnation. Right. Because right. you, know, you remember you say, hey, oh, sometimes yeah. we think, we say, oh, we're going to do that. And yeah, you're going to do this and we're yeah. going to do that tomorrow. <clears throat> and the Lord, you always try to talk about it to you, see me? You say, I'm sufficient unto the day. It is evil there. It is evil there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you're making plans. <laughs> you're making plans like, wow, but, you know, you don't direct your Can't. part them way there, you know what I mean? So you could have you could have planned some more, just like um, the man who built up in barn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And his plan was, oh, we going to make it bigger. Yeah, 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 oh, let me get that. that. No fool. <laughs> Tonight, that soul is required of thee. Yeah. And that's Luke, the 12th chapter. Right. Luke, the 12th chapter. Let me start that. <clears throat> Be with me a second. Alright. Alright. Right. So, Luke 12, verse 16 says, And he spake a parable unto them, saying, right. The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Right. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruit. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and will build greater. And mm. there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, there was much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But the most I said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Right. Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? Right. So is he that laid up treasures for himself and is not rich towards the most high. Right. Right. Straight on to the point, man. Yep. See? Um, another scripture. It says, um, James chapter 4, verse 13 says, Go to know ye that say, yeah. Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city right. and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Right. Whereas he know not what shall be on the morrow, right. for what is your life, it is even a vapor that appeared for a little time, right. and then vanish it away. For right. that he ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live yeah. and do this or that. Hey, uh, hey, you have to come to the conclusion, man, that um, whatsoever is happening is the will of the Lord. Man. Right. You know what I mean? It's not contrary to that. You know what I mean? Um, you being here in the first place <laughs> wasn't of your will. Yeah, can. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> Cause you never take thought of being here. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You just, you just find yourself here. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you you become conscious <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> knowing that you're in yeah, a place. Yeah, exactly. You know, and seeing other people, but it's all. A, and, and guess what? There's no one else that come on this earth. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And some other way. You know what I mean? Um, it tell you know you know you know you know. In you know, a wisdom of Solomon, say yo, mm -hmm. you know, we come a, to a art. mortal man, yes, yeah, a mortal man. That's how a mortal man come about. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you was you wasn't here by your will, and he, when you leave here, it's not going to be by your will. And and and, and um, even wisdom itself, wisdom is not something that you choose. You know what I mean? The Lord Himself basically put wisdom on whosoever Him see it fit to put it on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, your life, your life itself, see, is not determined by the, the, the things that you do. Exactly. Your life was, was, was already predestined by the Lord. Yahweh mm Hashem -hmm. Yahweh You know what I mean? So that's how it is for you out here. You see, uh, me? see, you're not closing statement that because yeah, no memory. Um, yeah, but just well, basically, just, um, the Spirit just lead to us adding that. You know, mm, I don't know much what the brother was speaking yeah, about. Yeah, but no, that, no, I hate that, I hate that, yeah, man. So, but, I hate that. You know, just put in um, what the spirit leads to put in, God. you know. So, you know, with that, we say, Kalalal, you know, Hashem, you know, Hashem, you know, you know, Shalom to all the brothers and all who keep pushing um, this truth. Even the people who keep watching the videos, yeah, the ones keep that on believe, watching, man. you know, yeah. just continue um, doing, doing what you're supposed to do. 
you know, and pray to the Lord and fast, yeah, yeah, you know, that, and ask that, the Lord that's for wisdom in because um, that's basically the, 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 the money yeah. for us, man. Yeah. Wisdom, you know. It's like how uh, you pray for you win the lotto, mm -hmm. yeah, pray for you win the spiritual lottery, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the, jackpot. the spiritual, spiritual jackpot, jackpot, which is this knowledge, man. Exactly. You know? yeah, ultimately, so, the kingdom. Yeah, the kingdom follow with everything else. Definitely. You know? Yeah, so with that, you know, shallow up.